that was demonically possessed. Amen. Hallelujah. And she began to taunt Paul and Silas for many days. Until one time, amen, Paul said, that's enough. And he rebuked that evil spirit. Hallelujah. Out of that woman. And every time I look at it, I said, my God, the masters of the woman should have been happy. They should have been glad that she was delivered. But they were just using her. They were using her under a demonic influence to open up doors for them. Amen. Let's call them what the Bible says. Gay. Hallelujah. But beloved, you don't have to be under demonic influence to have gay for godliness with contentment. Hallelujah. It is great day. But the church of the door is open. The door is open. My God. So you see Lydia who God opened her heart. You see how a demonic possessed woman. Hallelujah. Comes to her senses. And amen. The people are not happy about it. You see what happens. Yes God. I was praying in the week. Amen. I looked at it. And I said sometimes it does not look like a door is open when the door is open. Amen. Lord have mercy. We sometimes are looking for a door to be open. Amen. But sometimes the door is open through adversity. The door is open through crying and tears. The door is open when you wonder how I got here. I did everything right and I'm still in bondage. The Bible says that they call Paul and Silas and they put them into prison. That is our text tonight. Speaking about the name of Jesus. All they were doing was walking through an open door. But hear me, beloved. When you walk through the open door, your enemy doesn't like it. Hallelujah. But you are greater than your enemy. Because I heard the Bible say, if God is for you, who can be against you? You are greater than that is in you that he that is in the world and the church of hallelujah and so they put stocks in their feet and my God some said they put stocks in their hand they said now we're going to shut them down we're going to close the other end of the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. But we're going to be like the old saints. If you shut me down here, I'll praise him over here. If you shut me down here, I'll worship him over here. Oh Lord, I told the church last night, when you see me coming, I'm coming on my mind. They put stocks in their feet, stocks in their hand, and they laid many stripes, verse 23, upon them. And they cast them into prison, into prison and charge the jailer to keep them bound. Amen. And it's important to note that amen, when a jailer, when the guard watched the prisoner, it was not only their life, the prisoner's life, it was also their life too. If the prisoner got out, amen, their life, amen, would be called for. Amen. And so this jailer, amen, was highly skilled. This jailer was highly dependable. Amen. That he would be able, amen, to keep Paul and Silas bound in a place where God said that there would be an open door. I don't know about you, but my God, I kind of feel that from a human 
perspective. They may have felt that they had lost. They may have felt discouraged. They may have felt weary. They may have felt like they lost momentum. Because Paul was the kind of man that moved by momentum. But he shut down all they began to do. The Bible says at midnight, Paul and Silas, they prayed and sang praises unto God. And the prisoners heard them. And suddenly there was a great earthquake. So that the foundation of the prisons was shaken. You see what God did? God bypassed the jailer and caused an earthquake. And the foundation of the prison were moved. And their bonds, their stocks were loose. Amen. But I learned how to make melody in my 
Somehow, God lifted her. Listen, doesn't mean you're not sad there. 